gods. What do I have to do to earn respect? Great victories abound, and yet still, the satraps grumble and conspire like the snakes they are. And while these satraps that my family has elevated grow fat and rich, taking backhanders from rogues, the common man scrapes by with nothing to look forward to but stale bread and a victory parade once in a year. And yet, as rich as I have made this land and the men that rule it, as much prosperity as my family has brought them, they still look at me with disdain. Like I am unworthy of even polishing the dagger that stabs me in the back. Well, I will stand it no more. I have one thing that they lack, and that is the backing of my father. They dare not insult his hallowed name, even if they think that I do. It is a name that gives me power. Power for me to wield, however I see fit. Who would have thought that you'd finally be useful for me, father? But forgive me, for your name may soon be bathed in screams and tears. All across the land, my builders are busy, erecting squares for executions. I will not stand this corruption and bribery anymore, and those that partake in it will be sent to Hades. My father always said that I must earn my respect, but I have tried so very hard, and yet no respect has been forthcoming. So it is time for a different tune. The tune of Antiochus III. The tune of death. It is time for respect to make way for terror. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Sororectum version 0.5. Last time we had some very, very interesting stuff. We beat back the Galatians once again at Gordion uh, over here. Antiochus the Angry, or was it? No, uh, no, it wasn't Ankira. That was... Oh no, maybe it was Anki- No, I was uh, over here at Tuawion uh, by Antiochus the Angry. What a man. And he is truly starting to earn his stripes, isn't he? So, let's actually have a look around with our spies because we've not had a little scope out of Pontus for the time being. So what I think we will do, looking at, judging by the armies of Pontus and the massed amount of troops that they have, I think they are our next target, definitely. Um, but what I'm thinking is, we should take out the Galatians. And then what we'll have, we'll have this army, led by Antiochus. We'll have this army over here, uh, led by um, Andragoras the Handsome, the man responsible for our reform. So we'll have two pretty strong armies, plus Ermayas as well. Uh, I do remember that the Cappadocia was all the way up here, but we will get to them at some point. I don't even know if we're bordering them anymore, to be honest. I wonder whether we can actually leave here with these guys. We do need to go around all our settlements and have a cheeky little look. Yes, we can. Fantastic. Well, they can join Ermayas. Um, and then we can get these boys in here. Yeah, these guys... Probably don't need all of these guys anymore. Let's disband one of them and see what happens. 85, I'm willing to leave it there just in case they've got cultural unrest. We are building in so many cities now, guys, as well. We are taking the last settlement of Crete, but like I say, we are just sieging it down. We can probably actually go for that in a couple of turns. Probably next turn, honestly, with the high pastis. They've only got two units in there. Uh, and we are recruiting another army. Over here. 
in Pergamon. Uh, as well as some more cataphracts and some elephants in Antioch as well, which is really, really nice. These are pretty close to the front line, so we can get them up through here. If we could get paved roads in Mazaka, that would actually be a really, really good option for the speed movement of troops. So let's go for that instead of the Agora. It's only three turns. Uh, I wonder how long it will say these guys. Yeah, it's going to take them a few turns to get there. So by the time, hopefully they'll have paved roads. A lot of trade going in here. But Pontus looks very strong. And also, they're just massing their troops. So we really do need to have a big war against them. I know we're allies, but who really cares about that? Paper agreements, guys. Paper agreements, aren't they? So <laughs> that's how the AI sees them. That's how we shall see them as well. Crete actually is our most unstable region at the minute. Up in the north, we do need to move on from here. But I'm wondering, maybe uh, Eucratus will come and attack us. And if they do that, that would be fantastic for us. We're sending you back down for retraining. You guys in the north, again, just a bit of a, uh, <laughs> a mercenary army up there. I think that is the only army we've got up there. But we do have Eumenes on the way as well. So he's going to come and help out. A few turns it's going to take him to get there because it's long distances. But let's press the end turn. I've, I've waffled on for way too long. Oh, here we go. That Pontic army. The final stand of Pontus, which very much... Uh, sorry, Pontus? The Ptolemaic army. The final stand of them. Which to me, very, very, very much looks like it's a spawned in army because they're down to the last settlement or so. Last two settlements. Yeah, this is definitely a spawned in army. They are attacking us. So, I mean, they're attacking this Akontistai, which is slightly annoying. I mean, if I retreat with the Akontistai, hopefully they'll then attack the bigger army. There they go. I think we should just go siege down the settlement and see what they do. I think they'll come and attack us, and that would be good because we can take the defensive because that army is pretty darn strong, to be honest. It's not not a weak army whatsoever. So the Ptolemy's putting up a bit of a fight for once. <laughs> We've got a suitable husband. He's 30, so I'm definitely willing to accept that. A lot of cities expanding. He's in Seleucia as well. Classic. Uh, we've got governors everywhere around here, haven't we? We probably need to start thinking about governors up in this region. A few of these areas, you know, they could do with a bit more investment. Whoa, Odessa. Wow, 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 we. Let's get a governor in Odessa. Look at that trade that is flowing from Odessa. Wow, we need to make sure that we are upgrading Odessa as much as possible. What a settlement. It's a large city as well. So where has expanded costs? Okay, remember, I will queue these in. You know, I know it's not the most min maxy thing if they're already building, guys. It's spending money on buildings that are not going to get built for a couple of turns. But it's just so that I don't forget. If I had, like, an empire of 20 settlements, I wouldn't do this. But because I've got this massive empire, because we are spread 172 settlements so far, I think it's definitely worth it. Um... So, Seleucia, we just got that. I think we go for the Ludus Magna. I know it's going to reduce tax income, but it should help with everyone that grows up here as well. But, yeah, let's uh, leave that for now. First things first, let's do all our military movements. So, oh my god, another big Galatian army. So, the war with Galatia is nowhere near over yet. And this army, led by Antiochus, is not the strongest army you've ever seen. It's not terrible either. No doubt about that. It's not bad uh, by any stretch, but it's not awesome either. It's not fantastic. Let's have a look what happens when they go into there. 100%. That's fine. Don't even need to put it down onto low. So I think that army, I think that's Pontic land. But if we stand on the river there, it might either force Pontus to attack us or this big army to come. And have a go if they think they're hard enough. You guys are going all the way to Pergamon for retraining, aren't you? We might even be able to pick up some cataphracts when we get there as well. Which would be fantastic. So we've got the cataphracts training in there. Honestly, at this point, 
these mercenary Indian war elephants. Well, how much do they cost? 158 a turn. I mean, let's send them to the front line and just get them killed, really. Just get them to charge into the enemy. You guys go after that fort there. <laughs> the elephants! The elephants assaulting the fort for the boys. Fantastic. One more turn, and then we can get these boys into the front lines, into these armies. We've got Ermayas here now. So, yeah, he's got a load of Chalka Speeders. That's too many Chalka Speeders, in fact, for the army. So, yeah, and we've also got these nice mercenaries. So let's get the uh, Chalka Speeders. We've got Antigonos here. Was he meant to be a general in the army as well? I think so. So let's get Antigonus out. And let's get the three Chalka Speeders we can in there. Come on. Wait, wait. Four Chalka Speeders, should I say. And then the the other units, these boys, if we can get them out, we will. Let's have a look. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. 37%. That's not fantastic. But we can go daily games, and that's about okay. I'm willing to take that risk and put these... Um, Prodromoy, that's what they're called. <laughs> I couldn't think of their name then for a second. Prodromoy in there. Well, let's go focus on the Galatians for now. But this army is pretty darn strong and ready to take on Pontus. We might even get there and not be needed. But let's go with the impression that we are going to be needed. It looks like we have to take the fort to even get there or go past this guy. So let's go that way round, I think. We'll get the mercenaries up and forward. They can go and join Antiochus the Angry. Uh, so we've got the three armies in this region getting ready to uh, go with the assaults, which is pretty nice. Are we still recruiting anything in here? Uh, Ladokia. No, it was Iconian, wasn't it, that was the recruitment hub? Not at the minute. I think that's fine. Because we are recruiting all the way over here in Pergamon. So we're getting another cataphract. And then in Sardis, are we getting anything worthwhile? Well, I think it's worth training the archers right now. Four Neocretans for the boys. Over here, we're getting those for... Yeah, for... The garrisons over on Crete. So let's, yeah, let's get them moved across as soon as we can, really. Uh, that would be good. And then we can take all this army back home, get them retrained, and then we can go against Greece, guys. <laughs> finally, finally fighting Greece. So up over here, did we move you? Not quite yet. But let's get you moving. Now Krautis didn't move, which is interesting, of course. Uh, I don't know why he didn't move. Now, I'm very skeptical that this army isn't going to come and try and attack us there. I do kind of want to take it on, but it looks a pretty strong army. Also, we don't have any garrison in there. So, we need to get some garrison out of Antiochi Marginai as soon as we can. In fact, it's probably worth doing it right now. I wonder whether if we took those guys out. No, we can leave one behind. Let's leave Let's leave the Akontistai behind. So I think this is going to be one of those quieter episodes again. Maybe less battles. But we need a garrison in there. Uh, but let's, let's go for it. When I say quieter, let's not make it too quiet. Let's go for that battle. Let's see if we can take on the goddamn Bactrians. Look at that big army up there as well. So yeah, it's some pretty strong armies... Uh, marching around our, near our lands. But let's go fight them. Let's go fight them. So, yeah, it's mainly Hoplites. And we've got a lot of Chalka Speeders, but they're very, 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 very damaged. They've got Thorakitai as well. Now, I don't really want to man this attack. So what I might do is I'll do that... Stick that on low. That's fine. I don't think they're going to take that this turn. And what I'm going to do 
is hope that they attack me. Because I want the nice defense there. I know it's a bit cautious. And I'm not normally very cautious. But of course, quite a strong army that. And I don't want to assault them up a hill or anything with my Chalka Speedheads. Because they'll just get absolutely shredded. So it's worth trying to min-max that and get the defensive battle there if we can. Any mercenaries available in terms of horse archers? Oh my days, yes. Median cataphracts. Get me those. Get me the Persian noble cavalry. Fantastic. That's what it's all about. Fantastic units. Very, very good units indeed. So, yeah. Keeping on going with that. I think that's everything over there. So let's do our building. Let's make sure we're building in Seleucia. Uh, every time. Let's get the Ludus Magna. Or we could go for the Merchant's Quarter. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's do that. Damascus. A little bit upset, Damascus, but that's fine. Uh, let's go for that Execution Square. That should bring down the corruption. Our Bella over here. How are we looking? No corruption at all here. So let's get the crop rotation instead. I know it's not a huge amount of money, uh, but it's fine. Then Ephesus, let's go probably Corruption Reduction here. So, yeah, big reduction. Where is that extra trade coming from? I'm guessing they're establishing a new trade route. Very nice indeed to see that. So let's get that Execution Square. Going to reduce Corruption by 200. That's a fantastic result for us. Let's go Tarsos now as well. Tarsos is quite a nice little city, to be honest with you. Lots of Corruption. Look at that gonna lose yeah let's go for the execution square again 263 gain which is even more than probably the large mine no the large mines are better overall but let's go for the execution square to start with and then let's go into elusa i know we're taking a bit of extra time with this management of our cities but i think we can really min max this economy the next few turns then we won't have to worry about the corruption for a long time so hecatompolos Let's just go banging in the execution squares everywhere. We are Antiochus the Angry, after all. So we hunt execution squares everywhere we can go. I think over here it's probably worth... Oh, that's actually not doing that much for us. So, yeah, maybe not. But yeah, execution square everywhere that we can go for it. Um, Stakra, your tiny settlement. Alexandria Prosphasia. Go execution square as well. I know you're that you're quite close, but not hugely close. Same with Alexandria Ariana. Uh, is that everywhere built above there? Yes, it is. Maybe we'll get to building everywhere very soon. Hopefully we do. That would be fantastic. Because then I don't need to do this. I can just go onto the construction screen. So yeah, let's go with the execution square everywhere. Everyone's getting executed if you've got corruption in your town, guys. That's how we're gonna do it. Uh, trader. Now, you could say, uh, so people have messaged me saying, you know, that the public order due to law here, but uh, from the military building, so we can do that one as well. I don't know. I just don't really like to do that. I just like doing the execution square. I know it's only 10% law versus these, and it's even more expensive, but yeah, it just feels a bit cheap doing the military buildings for that, so... Yeah, Execution Square kind of works thematically as well. I know it's a not fully min-maxed, uh, like I probably should be. But yeah, if we get Execution Squares everywhere, <laughs> that should really, really help with our economy. In three turns, we're going to be sailing absolutely high. And they also don't cost much money either. So yeah, pretty good, uh, pretty good little tactic here, which we should have done probably a bit earlier. But we were just focusing on getting that trade up. But now that that trade and farming income is pretty darn powerful, I think it's time that we get rid of the corruption in all these lands. You know, some of these, like Nippur, probably won't have corruption, but it's worth getting it just for that law anyway. Uh, Galzana, yeah, Galzana probably has a little bit. Uh, Antiochia, Persis, yeah, probably a little bit as well. So, yeah, we're getting down to 24,000, so I think all of these places probably not going to be able to... Uh, construct them too much. I think paved roads over there just for that movement of troops and anything if we need to. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to build everywhere. That's unfortunate. I was really looking forward to building everywhere. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's close though, isn't it? It's getting closer and closer and closer, honestly. Let's go. Execution square. Nice, nice, nice. 
Uh, I'm sure Antiochus the Angry is very, very happy with this right now. I think next turn, honestly, we might be building everywhere. It's not even a joke. I think I think we might be. Let's get an Odeon in there. No, let's go for the law from the stables this time. And then over in Tyre, let's go for the crop rotation for that extra bit of growth. Because we are on zero, actually, in Tyre. Oh, okay. When I said we might be building everywhere, I thought <laughs> we were, like, here. And I thought it wouldn't be that many settlements. Yeah, it's quite a lot still, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. We've got a lot of settlements. All right. Let's click that end turn again. I know it's a bit of a slower episode. Ah, yes. I forgot about that. Let's get that. Let's go like that as usual. And let's watch them attack us because they probably will. I'm also a bit worried that Pontus is going to come and attack us. But, yeah. That might happen at some point. Hopefully it doesn't. Ah, here we go. The Ptolemies. This is going to be a pretty large battle. We actually just lost about 10,000 that turn. I don't know why. Uh, Xenokratus is coming in as well. This is actually going to be a pretty brutal battle. They've got the Agama Cavalry and the Machirophoro Cavalry, which are good. Zistaphoroi. Yeah, we don't have the, 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 uh, the bonus on anything. Apart from the fact that we are defending pretty heavily. So hopefully we've got a nice little hill. And we can just kill the other smaller army just very quickly. But we shall see. I'll see you there, guys. Today is a grim day in the sight of the gods. They do not rejoice to see brave men die. Wow. By night, this though, is the map that we were after, guys. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this map. Oh my days. Where is the settlement, by the way? I mean, we couldn't even go up here. They can't actually stand on here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> Let's not cheese it that much. Um, but we will cheese it enough. To be all the way up. We're going to go on top of the hill, of course. We're going to do an AI tactic. I mean, the, the city should be by one of the roads. But I doubt we'll see it in these mountains. <laughs> but this is going to be ridiculous. Good luck, AI. That's all I can say. I think we're going to take... There's a nice little temple down there as well. I'm going to take it up here. Uh, we'll get them set up once, uh, once the battle starts. Actually... Uh, you guys should be uh, down here as well. Get there. Oh, and you boys as well. Let's get you all together. I mean, we don't have many archers, which is a bit of a bit of a problem, but that's fine. And then the cavalry, one of which is my general. You can get up there. See where they've set up. I don't know where their reinforcements are coming from. Oh, we've got. Oh, we got these two guys down here. Shit. <laughs> um, good luck, AI. This is the... I mean, I've, I've, I've complained a lot about the fact that we've hardly got any good defensive battles. <laughs> and this has to be the most ridiculous one that we've, that we've ever got. This is crazy. <laughs> this hill is ridiculously strong. We can pretty much cover off wherever we want. Get the uh, Thorakitai. I think we'll get the Thorakitai on this side. And then who have we got left not moving? We've got you two. I'm thinking we just keep you behind. Cavalry-wise, I honestly don't know what to do with you in this battle. I don't think you're going to be 100% useful. But good luck, AI. That's all I can say. Good luck. It looks like the right-hand flank might be the one that they're going to go for. <laughs> they're coming up this hill. Come on, the boys! <laughs> Imagine being told to attack up this hill. It's just not going to be possible, sire. I'm sorry, I can't. It's too much effort. <laughs> even these guys don't even know how to stand on the hill. In formation, it's that steep. Yes, this is it. This is it, boys. Here come the cavalry on the side of the cliff. Where even are they? <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is brilliant. 
They should be in range of our boys there, actually. In fact, let's get all our cavalry on this side. And I think we'll get our, the rest of our infantry over here as well. Right, you guys you can just go there. The Thorakitai should be firing now. This is ridiculous! Surely they should be exhausted. They're winded already. I can't even see hardly what's going on. It looks like a 2D game right now. <laughs> that the, is the Agama Cavalry, which are very strong, like we've said. The Machiro Foroi Cavalry should get in as well. You guys should be able to, if we halt you, should be able to fire. Where's my cavalry? I mean, it's so hard to tell on this battle map what is even going on. I mean, if we can come... Like through here, maybe, and get us charging on the side of those boys. They were shaken for a sec. What even is even going on up, up around here? I don't even know. Where's this other unit gone? Wait, I thought I saw someone being a bit upset then. Right, cavalry. Let's get through and let's give him a charge. Thorakitai doing pretty well, honestly, against cavalry, which they shouldn't be good to, good against. So, fair play. I'm quite happy with how they're doing. The Machiroi 4 eye cavalry have been very strong. They haven't even had a, hardly anyone die. So, if we can get a good charge in here. Oh, we've broken them all. I mean, they don't have a general. That's one of the main problems for them, of course. Is the fact that they just don't have a general. I'm going to have to zoom out here. I can't even tell what's going on. Now, if we can get the Agama as well within this charge, that'd be great. I mean, it looks like their whole infantry force is there. Apart from whatever these guys are, Thropperoi. We've broken the cavalry. So let's get our cavalry back. Let's get the Thorakitai. I think the Thorakitai should just deal with these guys. And then what I'm going to do... Who is this? That's my cavalry. What we're going to do is we're going to try and surround these boys in this little hillock here. Cavalry, let's get you here. Come on. Stop messing around. You guys get there. And we'll bring these boys in to help, of course. Wait, our Thor Thorakitai just routed. Who are they fighting? Just the Ropperoid. Right? right, let's get up here then. Don't want these guys to rout again. We've got our cavalry in hot pursuit, of course. What's going on up here? You guys get the back of the carry and heavy infantry. They're a very good unit. So we still have to be very careful here because, like I say, these units are very, very good that they've got. I think we just don't worry about that other army, honestly. Uh... But I don't know how that Thorakitai just broke so quickly. They're supposed to have really good morale. Wait. Let's have a look. Yeah, 16 morale. And they broke. Come on, boys. Don't know why. Maybe overwhelming numbers. Wait, who? Yeah, you're the Thorakitai getting killed by the general. We did manage to get their general to rout, but I think he's back. Wait, where? Yeah, the Agama, that's their general. Right, you guys, let's get you forward. You guys into there, same as you. And let's get you guys forward as well. And then, yeah, we'll defend the top of the hill up here. And I think... How far away is the side of the map? I think it's over there. So let's get our men over this way. I'm not too worried about whatever guys are on this side. You guys kill them. Just turn around. Should be able to squish these boys to death. Which will be nice. When I say nice. <laughs> uh, and then you can fight the Machimoy Phalangites. These guys should be dying now quite significantly. If we could, I mean, I would like to get through that gap, but the Kalorochoi Phalangites are in the way. Right, let's, uh, let's just charge down the hill. See how we do. You guys get over here, see if we can surround these boys. Hoping we don't break this time. I mean, we've got good experience on these boys, so they shouldn't break. You guys get round there. This is quite a brutal battle at the minute. If we can kill that general's bodyguard, that's good. 
so that should help. They're all exhausted as well compared to our troops, which is fantastic. Yeah, our troops are all just wind. Well, there's a couple winded, a couple warmed up, but the running up that hill is just ridiculous. So we should be good. If they can get into the fight here, we can slip through and get a few charges off in the back over there, which will be nice. Who's the one dying so much? Oh, they got completely squished by Xenocratus. Honestly, not too bothered by that. As long as they fight to the death, that's fine. We're surrounding this unit, these units fully. They're both exhausted, so I think one charge would get rid of them now. But let's let's try and get through without touching this guy. <laughs> go, go, go. Slip past, boys. Slip past. Slip past. That's what we want. And this guy. No, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. Just get away from them. In fact, let's go after these Greek slingers. We've got Machimoy archers as well. I think a big charge in the back here would be good. I know it's the Agama, but I think we can get a nice little charge into the back of them. Having to zoom out so far now. Get those boys now. General, let's rally. So they're only shaken. If we can get a few mass routes out here, that'd be great. So yeah, we did a bit of damage there, which is quite good. Uh, we've got the Greek Peltas over here. I'm kind of wondering if we go round this way, because these guys are saying they're eager. We've got anyone that's shaken. I mean, this Machimoy Phalangites are. So I kind of want to get a mass route going. Machimoy Archer's doing quite well there. Let's go for a little cheeky charge in on the uh, Machimoy Phalangites. That carrying infantry should run away at some point as well. As long as we don't lose our general, this should be okay. Wavering. Wavering. Come on, break them. Broken. Yes. 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 Oh, wait a sec, guys. Forgot I've got my uh, the banners turned off, so I can't even see what's going on. That's better, isn't it? That's better. Let's kill the general's bodyguard if we can. We've got the Agama cavalry coming in. This is going to be brutal on our cavalry. But well, their cavalry should be exhausted. Yes, keep it going. Kill that Agama. Nice, 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 nice. Greek Peltas should flee now. Both generals are running. No, they're still eager. Come on. Surely I can break a Greek Peltas there. Shaken, eager. Oh, poor cavalry is taking a bit of a battering. Go for the Chlorotchoi up here. They're shaken now. Not stirred. Broken. Let's go. Kill as many of them as you can. You guys get them. Kill them. Come on, guys. I know we're getting tired now. I know we are getting tired as well. But I think we can do this. Just a matter of time. Slowly whittling them down. Now they're fighting to the death. That's not what we want. We want to get out of there if they're going to do that. Uh... What's going on over there? Why do they have units all the way over there? Look at this battle on the cliffside. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Come on, boys. Get rid of them. And I think... Yeah, we've kind of got these guys boxed in now. The Greek Peltas are going for the fight. I think we'll be able to break these guys pretty quickly. I think now it's time to go in for another charge on the Agama rather than the Phalangites over here. So you guys, you guys actually get out. Wait, no, it's you guys. You guys fight them in the front. You guys get out. Now all our troops are knackered. <laughs> Still shaken now. Shaken. If we get a good charge off. Wavering. Let's go. If we can get the Agama gone, that's good. Fantastic. And the Epilectoi Phalangites kill the Agama Cavalry. They should break pretty quickly. They just keep coming back, which is really annoying. So if we can kill them all, that'd be so much better. This is the exper This is why we're doing so well, guys. The experience on our troops is really good. So that we've got really high attack uh, and defense now on these boys. This is a bit of a sandwich situation. Now let's get the Epilectoi Phalangites. 
Right, you guys, let's get you here if you can, and we're going to surround this Kalorochoi. They're still fine, the Kalorochoi. They're not too unhappy, so... Uh, shaken. Therapeia infantry are quite nice, I think, if we have a look. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. So we want to get them broken as quick as possible, ideally. Right, you guys fight them now. You guys fight them. And what we'll do is we'll get you up here ready to, like, kind of flank them. If you can. Good, 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 good. You guys get on the back of those Clorochois. Now who have we got left to have a go at? Let's go kill the archers once and for all. So who are these? We've got you two. Let's try and get you guys up here to surround this Clorochois as well. Our cavalry now has become increasingly slow, of course. Through. Now get your phalanx mode. And get fighting. The Greek Peltas should not be a hard challenge for you Phalangites up here. We've not lost a huge amount of men. A few units pretty damaged. But apart from that, I mean, that is the, the bonus of the, the Hill of Doom. Mount Doom. <laughs> There's Mount Doom, to be fair. What a map. Fighting on the cliffside. No, we're not going to be able to catch those boys, are we? Right, boys, now halt. Now fight. Two units of Greek Peltas over here. Oh, they've got another unit coming back. You guys get in the fight now. Good experience for these boys. We might even get some more experience at some point uh, during this battle. Hopefully we do. Especially the Thorakitai. Uh, although one of them just ran away. Oh, they've all mass, mass route here. Mass route. Mass route. Let's kill them all. Kill them all. Now all you guys go after the Therapeia. Come on, guys. Kill them. Where are you going? Kill them. Kill them all. Come on. Charge them down. Who have we got left then? We got these Akontistai fighting. I don't know what they're doing. Come on, down the hill, boys. Down the hill. Kill them all. The Therapeia are now dead. Now gone. So we just need to kill this goddamn Clorochoi. Yes, we're killing a lot of them now. So let's speed it up. I think we can afford to now. Uh, Cavalry-wise, hopefully we get a general out of this as well. That would be fantastic. You guys, let's go down and fight the Machimoy archers if we can. I don't think you're going to be able to catch them up, to be honest. Might route them, though. Right, you boys. Let's get you over here. Uh, you guys get out. Let's get you up here. You guys fight them now. Let's get you round. If we can. Full surrounds on the boys. Uh, yeah, there's not many more targets for us, is there? Uh, let's see what we can do over here then. You guys get in the side. You two, let's get you around the back. I know you're all exhausted, boys. It's been a long and bloody battle. How many have we lost, though? 50%. Ooh, quite brutal. But they, honestly, it's the Ptolemies. They should have nothing left after this. Hopefully nothing anyway. I'm going to have to try and charge those Machimoy archers down, which is a pretty annoying t task because my cavalry are going to be probably even slower than them at this point. So who else have we got left? Apart from these boys. Uh, well, I think you guys should go after them. Come on, Cav. Let's go. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Big battle for the boys. Big battle. Let's go. Come on. that! What a fantastic battle, anyway, to start the episode on. Uh, how many have they got left? Let's just make sure of it. You guys go there, you there. Hopefully we get a general out of this. That'll be fantastic. 
Let's just kill those archers, and I think that'll be enough to hopefully see both of these armies dead. You guys go there. You guys go there. Get you guys after him as well. I think that's enough. Let's exit the battle. Fantastic battle. Glorious victory. We killed more than double of them, and that was a pretty nice army that they had. Some great results. Not much experience, honestly. Greek Slingers have fully died. Only one. Chalka Speed has got an extra experience, but that just goes to show you how experienced these boys are now. Very nice. 125 for that Hoplite. 278 for the Zistaphore. Surely we should get a general from this, but we shall see, guys. Here we are. Great victory. We didn't quite take the settlement, but that's honestly fine. That full army is destroyed. Hopefully we get a man of, man of the hour. I don't know whether they can come during end turns, though. That's the one thing. Now, Bactria. Oh, Bactria just skipped. I have no idea what they've done then. Whether they've kept on with that big army. I, I don't know. Nice, though. Fantastic. And we're back to 112,000 rather than 104. I don't know why there was a big dip. I know we have just recruited some elephants, but it's not 10,000 dip. Right, this army now. Oof. Let's go, boys. Let's get you up into the action. Uh, probably somewhere over there. It's not going to take you too long to get there either, is it? So what have we got in there? We've got a lot of uh, men garrisoning. Uh, we're going to send you there. Looks like Ponzas might want a little toe in the water. I don't know what they're doing there. But that's not fantastic. <laughs> Massacre is a very rich settlement. I love that. Did we get a man of the hour? No, we didn't, unfortunately. Civil disorder in Kauris. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, let's wait for our reinforcements anyway. So let's get in there. Let's make sure we repair that. Uh, and then Gordion as well. Oh, pretty upset. Let's make sure they're in front. I think they should be fine next turn, though. I think that's just cultural unrest coming in. Agent found in Mazaka. Fine. City grows Artemita. Oh, yes. Finally, we can get up to a huge city there. Let's get the councillor's chamber there. Tell Mesos Seleucus the liar has died. <laughs> Unfortunate for him. Atlas the harsh has died as well. That's fine. I think we should get rid of you if we can. Good. Uh, and then a coming of age for Atolos in Bertha. So Atolos, where around here? It's probably worth going into Assur to govern after that guy dies. Nice bit of a turnover of our governors over here, which is nice. Most advanced faction is Carthage. You're kidding. You're kidding. Carthage, really? Shocking behavior. Shocking behavior. Um, do we want some scythe chariots? Because they do absolutely shred. But we are recruiting these for the new army, aren't we? So we've got our four Agira speeders. We're getting our archers. That'll be eight. That'll be 12. And yes, we want just a gear of speeders now, really, don't we? Uh, yeah, we'll recruit two of those. So 8, 12, plus a general, 13. So we've got seven slots. Minus two for the scythe chariots and war elephants. So five slots for a gear of speeders. That's it. That's fine. That's a great army, to be honest. Great, great army. Uh, and Antioch, we now got the Royal Barracks, so we can actually recruit everything we want here as well. And I see no reason to stop recruiting Cataphracts while we can. While we've got the cash. While we have the cash. Definitely worth. I know it costs a lot of money. Uh, and we've just spent an absolute fortune there. Look at the Galatians, though. Where did that army come from? So I think we just go straight for there. We have to go through this land. I don't think Antiochus' army is quite strong enough to beat that by itself. I think we go around this way. It's quite nestled in the hills, that, that region, isn't it? I think we also go for Bithynian with Antigonos. Good name, good name. 
you need and Dragoras need to get back to Pergamon and get everyone retrained. Just get rid of the uh, the cataphracts. Swap around. Uh, let's make sure we put uh, Andragoras in there because otherwise, I will hundred percent forget that he uh, needs to needs to be with that army, and I'll send out the other guy. And Kisi's the builder, which is not the ideal army. Uh, right, let's retrain all these boys. Should be only one more turn, so two turns of retraining. That's fine. Then these guys that we have at garrison, yeah, that need to garrison the island of Crete. Let's get you in there. And let's get you off over there if we can. Actually, if it's only going to take two turns at sea. Oh, that's both the same. Yeah, two turns. Let's get you off there instead. I think that's good. So movement-wise, we've moved you. We've moved Antiochus. We've moved Antigonos. We've got Andragoras retraining. I think that's all the armies in this region, apart from, you know, these guys in here to defend against Pontus, if needs be. Uh, yeah, that's so that's all that region. Down here, let's uh, auto-resolve that, of course. No point fighting that. Enslave these boys. They actually do have an army barracks level 3. But I think it's honestly just worth going straight for the for the final nail in the coffin of the Ptolemies, which is this region here. The final region of the Ptolemies, and we will have destroyed them. That is glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Let's get the Shrine to Hera. Let's also recruit a ship. We just need one. And we will be very careful with it. Retrain them. I don't know why they... Probably armor. Yeah, has it got a blacksmith? Yeah, that is armor. And then the Ptolemies will be destroyed. Finally destroyed. I don't know what we're going to do with this army after that. We might, in fact, get there. We might, in fact, come down here and take some of these settlements. Going to be hard to keep hold of them. They're so far away from our capital. Um, could even go across into Arabia. And take... There's quite a few settlements down here in this region. I've got a spy up here, haven't we? God, I forgot how big this map is sometimes. <laughs> wow. Come down there. It's going to take you a long time to get there. But if we can take those couple of regions, they'll be able to trade with each other. Maybe trade with that one. I think it might be too far away. Uh, but up here in the north, we've got you coming up here. But you need to get into Karakata. So get in there, my friend. And retrain all the boys. We've also got more Theroparoi on the way. Ugh, big armies there, ready to fight. So Perdikas, let's get out. Let's recruit as many mercenaries as we can. Um, which isn't many. Do we want Perdikas to die here? He's only 20, but... He's not good. So I think it's worth keeping him in there. We will get Siege down. It's going to take them a couple of turns to assault anyway. So one more turn. All these guys will be ready to go. Uh, and yeah, we'll take Antiochus and Mr. Carpet back up into the north. Yes. You guys. Oh, God, you can watch a long, long way, can't you? Which is fantastic. Get over there. And while we're here, let's build a watchtower. I'm going to see this region a little bit better. I know you guys complain about the what not being able to see, but... <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Right. Well, that's cool. That is cool. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything we want to do this turn, apart from building, isn't it? So, let's get building again. And like I said, I don't think we're going to be able to build everywhere. <laughs> Uh, same with Antioch. Do we want to get... Yeah, we want to get the large temple of Hephaestus, definitely. Get some more upgrades on those boys. Uh, Susa, what do we want over here? Potentially the academy. This guy has only got 0, 0, 0 stats, so the academy will help out. Rafai up here. Let's go for the execution square. 
Uh, Nico Media, same thing, Execution Square as well. Remember our Execution Square <laughs> gambit? I bet you in like... So it's two more turns now, isn't it? I bet you in two turns, everything is going to be so, so, so much better in terms of our cash. I bet we'll be making an absolute fortune. It'll uh, make us uh, go up quite a bump in cash, I've got to say. Uh, sir, let's go for the Execution Square. Like I say, the best, most efficient way of doing this would be to build the stables. But I quite like thematically building all these Execution Squares everywhere. Um, I know it does reduce the tax income, but tax income is not that important compared to your trade income. So let's keep going. Militos, definitely an Execution Square. Isora, I think it's probably best for the paved roads in there. Uh, Samaria, let's go definitely Execution Square there. They'll have quite a lot of corruption. Same thing over here. And it's quite cheap, the Execution Square. 1,600 at the max, max cost. So we can kind of build it everywhere. Like I say, not going to be able to build every single place this turn. Definitely not. I don't think anyway. But I guess we shall see. It's quite an easy building uh, building route when you're just building exactly the same thing everywhere, isn't it? <laughs> Let's build the market over here as well. Arsino Kalikia. Let's go for the execution square. And then Arsino Klisma. Uh, if you don't freeze. There we are. Arsino Klisma. Quite an unhappy place. So let's just build that shrine to here up, just to keep them happy for it for a time. Uh, New Kratis, let's build the execution square there as well. Roads, I mean execution square. <laughs> oh, it's lovely being able to do this. Honestly, let's build the execution square. <laughs> Kios, um, we should really be getting paved roads around that whole region, but uh, for now, we know what we're building, don't we? <laughs> Uh, over here, let's build the Shrine to Hephaestus, just because it's cheap. Uh, Petra, let's build that market. Quite expensive, the market. Uh, over here, communal farming, probably at Bostra. Thebes, let's build those paved roads. Get a bit of extra. How much money are you making? 1,200. Yeah, that's not anything to sniff at. It's not too much, but it's not a huge amount. Uh, huge uh, sorry, a little amount either. If I can speak, I can't speak. Let's build the stables in there for the law, like we say. Uh, Hibis, let's build that. Antiochi Marginai, Execution Square. Uh, and then Melatine. Let's go. Potentially, Melatine's actually quite a nice settlement. Uh, I know we've taken it off the Cappadocians. They went for the Shrine to Tyke there. I mean, that's fine. Uh, honestly, it's probably worth getting the recruitment in there. I know it costs a lot. But the roads might be better. But it's only a road that leads there. It doesn't lead anyone anywhere else. So Let's get a recruitment hub in there just in case we need it in the future. Oh, we can upgrade you. And then Mothis. Let's go for that. Have we got space for one or two more? We do. Let's go for that. Have we got space for one more? Well, a simple temple. But that's quite good. We're not too far away from building everywhere now. Very nice indeed. And we've had a fantastic battle this episode. Let's do one more end turn. If a battle pops up, we're probably not going to do it. Um, but yeah. That's fine. Bythinion. Let's go and take out Bythinion. They do have that big army. I am slightly worried about Pontus here, but I guess we'll find out what they what their intentions are in the next couple of turns. Honestly, it's better if they attack us. Because, of course, it keeps our reputation intact. I don't really want to break our reputation. Again, it says 108,000, but... So down a little bit, probably. Yeah, there we go. We've got an attack on the city. That's good. I want to be able to defend that. That one's not so good. But we should be able to come and relieve that siege very soon. That's reduced money by quite a bit because these places aren't trading anymore. And they are very, very tradable cities. Uh, like we can see, they're making a fortune for us. Um, so yeah. But that's fine. What have we got? Got a couple of settlements besieged, like we said. Armenia is actually spying on us now. That's fine. Let's 
make sure we get these city expands in as well. What else have we got? Most advanced faction, Seleucid Empire, of course. Not Darn Carthage, I tell you that for free. And then, yeah, this one. Quite a lot of execution squares have been built there as well. Nice. So we are getting round to it. These guys, let's make sure we can retrain the rest of them. And then queue in the Agira Speeders. And then in the north. So we are building a lot, considering when you think about it, you know, we don't have, you know, we've got a lot of people being recruited at the same time. So, yeah, we are really recruiting quite a lot, considering. I'm hoping we can get there next turn, but doesn't really look like it, does it? Even if we can touch the city, that'd be great. Honestly, this would be fantastic if they decide to assault the city. So, let's, uh, let's go a little bit slower. Along this way. Well, when I say slow, <laughs> he's going to keep on moving as fast as possible. So, Bactria, Zariaspa. Is that their capital? I don't think it is, is it? I think, yeah, Maruka over here is the capital. Bactria Zariaspa is making 5,000 a turn. Honestly, Bactria at the minute isn't the largest threat we've ever faced. Um, we've got three armies on the go against them. And that's turning out to be quite enough, really. Once all these guys are done, we'll send them up into the north to deal uh, with everything up there. Now, Crete, we are still just sieging that down. Don't think... We really need to be too pushy with that at all. Oh, they can't get off this turn. That's a bit annoying. Do kind of want to build that in there. Let's build on Crete. Let's make sure we're building on Crete because it will be nice. Let's get a trader. Get roads. Here, farms. Because it hasn't upgraded at all because it's been owned by rebels. So, yeah. Be a really good area once it's all upgraded. Same thing over here. If we can get all these places upgraded, we certainly will be making a lot of money at some point. But all of them are building, really. So let's get those roads in there. Right. You're not done yet retraining. Where are the old cataphracts and elephants? They are here. Let's go through this way. To go and join. Good. Uh, you guys. Pontus has retreated slightly. I think Pontus, especially once we've taken this, is very, very likely to attack. So we've just got to make sure we do a systematic attack on them. They've got some big armies out there. So we've just got to be quite careful. Well, let's go after that fort. I'm hoping this guy comes and attacks us here. Because, again, I would like a nice defensive battle against those fools so yeah nice get these guys antigonos he's been a good general so far and tyker's the angry he just needs to survive until diodotus comes of age that's the main thing uh you guys go and try and join one of these armies couple of elephants for the boys very nice indeed uh and you're still retraining that's fine what have we got over here training the neocretans good Let's uh, make sure we retrain these boys while we're here as well. Uh, I think that's about it in terms of troop movements, really, isn't it? Apart from in the north. No, we've moved everyone we need to in the north. Good. Right, let's do our building. And then, yeah, Antiochi, Migdonia. Let's go. I mean, is there any corruption here? There still is corruption here. You're not even far away from anything, but... Yeah, worth getting that <laughs> corruption down. Like I say, that is the main effort for all these uh, building projects right now. There's even corruption here. You are right next to the capital as well. So we've got to be building anti-corruption buildings literally everywhere. Now, there isn't here. So, yeah, that's one place that we can don't need to worry. Let's go with the scriptorium, though, for some extra benefits to our tax and trade. Sardis... Definitely going to be corruption in Sardis. Uh, but at the minute, all we need in Sardis is population growth. Because of our recruiting here, we are really, really struggling. 
So let's go with the Shrine to Hera for now. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to pop that down. Let's get that back up. Apamea Kibotos. Let's have a look. What do we want over here? Wasn't this one... So we're right in the middle of Cappadocia, really. Let's go for the crop rotation. Oh, we did have the execution square available. It's fine. Crop rotation is still a good option. Lick on Polis. Yeah, all these places are places that haven't built the execution square yet. <laughs> Kai Zikos. Let's go for health. Um, Lydokia Lycos again. Just the execution square everywhere. <laughs> Lots of people getting executed very soon, guys. This is the sequel to Antiochus the Builder. Antiochus the Angry. It's a sequel that not many people like too much. But <laughs> it does the job in reducing corruption, eh? So, <laughs> Apamea Zugma. Let's go for that. Costs a little bit of extra cash for that, but it's fine. Same thing. That's a secret police HQ, so fine. Go for communal farming in there. Nikea. Let's go for the execution square. Chalcadon. Let's go for the land clearance. Doesn't even have a land clearance. What have we been doing there? Poor Chalcadon. Uh, Mylasa. Let's go for the market. Ptolemaeus Phonike. Uh, probably worth the roads here. So let's go for that. And making 1,900. That's a decent amount of cash. Let's go for the sewers in Patara. And let's go for... Oh, Secret Police HQ. Maybe not. Let's just go for the stables instead for that law. We'll actually transition across to that if we don't have the Execution Square available. So that's the same thing there. Let's get that in. Termesos. Let's go for the Shrine to Hera. We don't even have a shrine here. So let's go for that. Execution Square in there. Arsino Clisma again. I think we built the shrine last time, didn't we? So let's build the baths. No, let's build the practice range for that law. Like we said, that's what we're transitioning across to. Memphis. Secret Police HQ. I think it's probably worth it. Pelusion. Let's build the sewers. Nice and cheap and does have some very large benefits over time. Uh, over here, let's go for Tanis, which is a large city. Build the shrine to Taiki, get some extra uh, trade income. Secret Police HQ, but it's worth 2,100. And Tyakos, you are an absolute governor and a half, my friend. That's like a uh, just under, uh, like a 40% reduction. Because it could only, wait. No, it normally costs 3,600. He's making it 2,000, so he's reduced it by 1,500. That's a ridiculous amount. Oryx Sinios, or whatever it's called. Zesis, let's go for that. And then Hermu Polis, let's go for the Inland Trade Center. I know it costs a bit of extra cash, but it's fine. Same thing over here, Public Baths is fine. And then Hibis, let's go for the that. And again, so, so, so close to being able to build everywhere. But unfortunately, just not quite enough. Right, I can't believe we didn't get a general from that previous battle. Ridiculous. We should have got a general from that. That was a great battle. We did very well. Now we just need to come to... Where is it? It's here. If we get killed by rebel ships, I'm going to be absolutely fuming. Come on, boys. Don't attack me, rebels. Please. <laughs> Please. But we shall leave it there, guys. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.